Good evening, I'm Steve Klein with Sierra Madre Motorcycle Company and today we'd like to talk to you about one of the early Harleys that, that people really enjoy getting out on the road and riding. Uh, this is Valentine. My wife Joan bought me this bike, I don't know, 30 years ago for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's a 1912 Harley. Uh, this motorcycle was restored by Bud Eakins in like 1977. Von Dutch painted it and striped it. Um, back in the 70s, a lot of the really active motorcyclists in Southern California got interested in these old bikes again. And they would meet several times a year in a shopping center and just ride everybody's old bikes. Um, the man I bought this motorcycle from gave me a list it's like a who's who of motorcycledom, okay? Uh, Bud Eakin, Steve McQueen, Otis Chandler, Don Whalen, uh, David Hansen, who owns the shop in Ventura, California. Um, Aaron Sills, who has many, many world records in, uh, at Bonneville in racing motorcycles. Uh, Jody Perowitz, uh, Jody's ridden in the last couple cannonballs. Uh, she holds records at Bonneville Salt Flats. Jody just rode this bike a month ago. It's leather belt drive, tighten the pulley. It's also the first year that they had a rear hub clutch. So it wasn't direct drive. You could actually engage, disengage the clutch. Here's your advance and retard on your magneto. Obviously, the throttle's on the right-hand side. Okay, it's 30.5 cubic inches, five horsepower. Uh, you study them; they're called 5.35, so five horsepower, 35 cubic inches. Um, Shebler carburetor. Really easy motorcycle to start. Very easy motorcycle to run. If you can ride a bicycle, I can't tell you how many dozens and dozens of people that have never ridden a motorcycle, I put them on this, and they ride it and they enjoy it, so. There. Ladies and gentlemen, what's your name? <laughs> this is Chris Callen, Cycle Source Media, about to pop his 110-year-old cherry. Cheers. I'll keep this bike till I die because I can take people and introduce them to the very beginning of motorcycling and put a big smile on their face. So.